Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV and I've got a brilliant question here. This is from Alex UKFR. What are your thoughts on Hackintosh? Now, for those of you who don't know what Hackintosh means, basically, Apple produced their own hardware and they produced the software to go alongside it and it all runs rather smoothly and it's my sort of operating system of choice. It's the um, platform that I choose to use. What people don't like, and I do agree to a certain extent, is that you do pay a premium for Apple hardware. So there are some very clever people out there that have put together uh, known parts that work to build their own PC. So these are standard off-the-shelf parts like a PC case, a motherboard, graphics card, hard drive, optical drive, etc. And they've tested it and put together guides so that you can build your own PC and then put Mac OS X on it. Now some people shun this, some people really love doing this sort of thing because it is great if you achieve uh, Mac performance or better than Mac performance for a cheaper price and there are some savings to be made. What I would say is that my thoughts on it are if it works then great, absolutely superb, brilliant that you've saved some money and great that you've achieved something. It's certainly something that really does interest me but I would only do it if you're not reliant on your computer now I have heard that once these Hackintoshes are built and running they're still still super stable exactly the same as you'd expect from a Mac Pro or an iMac etc but if I was using my Mac in a production environment like I do in my editing room I have to be able to edit I would hate to one day turn on that computer and suddenly find that because I'd built my own Mac that something was incompatible. I think the rule of thumb with Hackintosh is, is once you've built it and you've got it running is not to do software updates until you've checked out the forums and the various guides that are available online. So that's probably something you should really stick by. But just to summarise, great idea, great that it's achievable, but I wouldn't use it if you're reliant on using your Mac to produce content or for your daily work, etc. I would actually buy something manufactured by Apple. But I love the Hackintosh scene, really would like to try it one day. I've never tried a Hackintosh. Let me know what your experiences are. I'd be really interested to hear. If you've built a Hackintosh, pop me a comment below. Let me know what guide you used, what your experiences were, did it work properly, was it stable? I really would be interested to hear from you. So thanks very much for that question. That was a great question. If you've got any new ones, please do leave them in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video.